In Java 19, virtual threads were added to Java. And if you are new to virtual threads, check out the description below this video. And uh, I have included a link to my video about virtual threads. An executor service is basically a, a thread pool. And in Java 19, a version of the executor service was added, which is using virtual threads internally to execute the tasks that you submit to it. The way to create an executor service in Java that uses virtual threads internally is to call the executor's new virtual thread per task executor factory method. And this method creates an ex executor service which uses one virtual thread per task submitted to it. Uh, everything else about uh, such an executor service um, is the same. So the way you submit tasks to it is the same as with a regular executor service. The interface is the same, so the way you interact with it is the same. And here is you see an example of me sub, of the code here submitting a runnable to the executor, but as a Java Lambda uh, expression. And down here in the next example here, I am creating a callable. And you can see I'm submitting that callable here and getting a, a future back um, from the submit method call. And through this future, I can get the result once the virtual thread that is executing this callable has finished executing this call method here. Now you might ask yourself why you would use an executor service um, to execute virtual threads um, when you could just start a new virtual thread for each of these tasks yourself directly without ever creating an executor. And off the top of my head, I can think of two reasons. And the first reason would be that you have a component or a system that is already designed to use an executor to execute tasks asynchronously. And instead of completely rewriting the entire system to, um, to use virtual threads directly, you simply replace the executor service that it is currently using with an executor service that is now using virtual threads internally. So that would be one reason. Another reason would be to take advantage of the um, the handling of submitting a task and having a future returned and being able to call that future and uh, everything without you having to write that code yourself. So that you know, if you start a, a virtual thread, there is uh, directly yourself. There is no mechanism uh, for you built in for you that can return a future for you. You would have to write that yourself. And by using an executor, you get uh, kind of that um, aspect handled for you. So you don't have to worry about it yourself. So those are the two main reasons I can think of uh, off the top of my head of why you would use an executor service that uses virtual threads internally rather than calling or starting these uh, virtual threads yourself. That is all I wanted to cover about the Java executor service that uses virtual threads internally. Remember to check out the description below this video for links to related tutorials and videos. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.